Well hello and welcome to my latest video. I think, I think, I think autumn is coming. It's getting a little bit colder. There's a distinct chill in the air and it's not just because of uh, what's happening in the world at large. It's the, it's the weather. It's the, it's the opposite of global warming. Wasn't uh, was it wasn't it uh, President Trump the other day who said that uh, the, the, it's going to get colder? Ah, yes, so he was right about something. Yeah, it was a little bit colder. Just been for a ride with uh, my mate Simon, a little little poodle, little twenty-five mile poodle around the lanes, and we were cycling along as we as we do, not at a great speed, and we heard the sound of a cyclist behind us, and we thought, aha. Here comes a young well, whippersnapper on his Pinarello. We'll let him go past. Anyway, this, this, this fellow went past and he was not a whippersnapper. Oh, no. He was, uh, I don't know, 17 stone if he was a gram. And he was on uh, a, a, a sit up and beg bike. So uh, very upright like that. Big, big guy. And he was wearing, he was one of the, wearing, wearing one of those baked beans jerseys, you know, where there's like a, a old big plate full of beans that spill out of his back. And it wasn't an e-bike, no ordinary bike. And he just, and he went, he went past us with this supercilious baked bean grin, baked bean grin on his face. And I said to Simon, if we're getting passed by guys like that, matey, it's time we stopped cycling. So... It may be the last, maybe the last bike ride I ever did, I ever do, but I hope not, because what are we doing today? We're doing an unpackaging, yes indeed. What is in, what is in Julian's package today? I was thinking, let me just, let me just take this out actually, before I say what I was thinking. This is a Silka Tatico Bluetooth and it's a it's a pump. Rather nice, rather nice packaging. I was I was lying in bed this morning, uh, awake, uh, as I as I sometimes am when I'm in bed, and I was thinking to myself, cardboard, because I've I've come across quite a lot of cardboard lately. And I thought, who invented cardboard? Do you know who invented cardboard? I know the Chinese. The Chinese invented paper because the Chinese invented everything. But did they invent cardboard? Because it makes you think, supposing that they, they invent paper and somebody's, somebody's sitting around and they, they put a few sheets of paper together and they think, oh, look, look. And somebody comes in and says, what, what are you doing with all that paper? And they say, well, I put all these sheets of paper together. And they've said, why? And they said, packaging. What? Packaging. I've invented packaging. What are you going to call it? Well, I haven't thought of a name yet. You got, got any ideas? Well, cardboard. What's that? Card what do you think about cardboard? Yeah, I like that. Cardboard. I mean, it's not, it's not board. And it's not card. Let's put it together. Let's call it cardboard. It's like a gravel bike. It's a word for something that... We don't need, doesn't exist. So I'm going to open this, it's rather pleasant packaging. And you always know when I'm doing a genuine unboxing, not that any of my unboxings are not genuine, um, because I sometimes have trouble, I sometimes have trouble with, with the packaging. And I'm, because this is such nice, nicely designed, I think I'm going to end up, you know, tearing it or ripping it because I can't. You see, that's supposed to. That's supposed to come out there, isn't it? You see, now I can't. I can't send it back now, can I? Because I've. They say if you want to send something back, don't don't remove the labels, and don't destroy the packaging. The reason they say that is because they don't want to sell it to somebody else. And if they sell it to somebody else and it turns up like this, you'd say, I don't want that. That's damaged. So, let's see if we can get this out without damaging it any further. And... Can I get 
bloody box. What is that? Look, the, the, look, 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 what am I supposed to do with that? Look, look, it's, it's packaging. It's cardboard, rubbish. Now I've done it. Now I have done it. I might as well rip this bit apart as well. I can rip that bit apart as well. I can rip that bit apart as well. I can rip that bit apart as well. Something fell down. Just a minute. It's a... Ah, it's two, two bolts. Two Allen, Allen bolts. Now, I must stop saying now. I made a video the other day and said I say now too often. This is the this is the bit that you attach to your bike. So let me just take that off if I if I can. Is that the right way up? It's difficult to tell when you're looking you're looking at your and I'm looking by the way I'm you think I'm looking at you and I am looking at you, but to the side of my camera, just about there, and I'm looking at it now, so now I'm looking at you and now I'm looking at the side of the camera, is the uh, screen of my Panasonic GH5, and that shows me what I'm filming, and if you're unfamiliar with how us YouTubers operate, this is how we operate. We, we have a screen, if we have a camera with a screen, of course, and it might be above the camera like that. Now I'm, now I'm looking at the screen above the camera. There isn't a screen above the camera. There is a microphone. There's a the screen is beside the camera right now. I'm pointing at it. You see, I'm not pointing at you. Now I'm pointing at you. Now I'm pointing at the screen. See, see the difference? Anyway, when I'm doing that, it's sometimes a little bit unclear. I don't know whether you're seeing the mirror image of this or whether you're seeing the right way this the right way up if you're seeing the mirror image of this then it probably says ositat ositatat whereas in fact it should say tatico don't know what tatico is it's a pump and it's made by silica and it's reassuringly reassuringly heavy do you remember when you had those adverts for stella artois beer and it used to say reassuringly expensive well, this is reassuringly heavy, and there's quite a heft to it. That's a good word, heft. Now, the rubber top here, see that? That produces the hose and the chuck. I think this is called a chuck. I don't know why it's called a chuck. And you can, you see that? Can you see that? It says Presta. You see that? Presta. And it says... Presta, oh Dunlop, Dunlop, anyone use Dunlop tyres or Dunlop valves? And I think if you unscrew this, yes look, you unscrew that like this and it says Schrader or Schrader, can you see that? Schrader. So I'm going to put that back in because nobody uses Schrader and or Schrader and nobody uses Dunlop but we all use Presta. So that's the, that's the chuck, I'm going to push that back in yeah. don't seem to be ah there it is and I'll put the top on like that now the, the little symbol here I don't know if you can see that is a Bluetooth symbol and I have downloaded an app to my phone and I'd like to use Bluetooth okay and I think you see I've I've downloaded an app and this pump apparently works, uh, no, read the instructions to you. It's not gonna work because I have to, before first use, remove protective film. So if I remove this protective film here, like this, this isn't protective film as in movie, by the way, this is protective film as in there's a little bit of plastic there. So there's a battery in there. And when you operate it, I believe that the pump should then link via Bluetooth. No, it's not doing that. Why should I do I'm going to turn that. I'm going to turn that. I'm going to go to Bluetooth. Going to Bluetooth. And I'm going to try and connect it other devices not working yet the reason I'm operating it 
by the way, is so that there is a signal which this can generate. Now why is it not why is it not doing that? Should be doing it, shouldn't it? Should be doing it. Why is it not doing that? Were there instructions in the box that I should have read? Don't go away. Okay, I found the box and I've read the instructions, which I probably should have done in the first place. And it says, engage Tatico pump head on the valve stem and move the valve lever to the lock position. Start the iGauge app on your mobile device. So I have here a tire pre-flattened. I haven't uh, put a puncture in this tire. I've just undone the valve and let the air out to enable the pump to do its stuff. So we find the pump head here, pull it out, put it on here. I'm just going to lift this up a little bit so that you can see. And this lever here engages the chuck on the valve so it doesn't screw on you engage it right i'm just trying to do this uh, to switch the phone on and i have to go to the eye gauge app which i'm doing and i'm going to you see i'm going to put that there can you see that i don't think you can see that what if i put that there can you see that there or if I put it there? Can you see it there? Now I'm going to try and... How am I going to pump and... I don't think I can... I'm going to, you know, if I put that there... Can you see it now? And now I... That is not... That's not pumping up, is it? Let's see what we're... Let's see what we're doing here. Oh, this whole, this whole, whole business is shit, isn't it? Right, I'll put that on there. Now this should show me I don't know, why is this not working? I'm going to... Right, I'm going to start this again. Right? Just talk amongst yourselves. This should wake up the system and it should... Not searching. Why is it not searching? I've taken the bit of plastic off there. This should... Uh, Look, I'm just going to go to Bluetooth and it says it's discoverable. Something not working properly here. Something not working properly here. Well, uh, welcome back. And uh, thereby hangs a tail. Downloaded the app, as you know, and the Bluetooth would not connect to the pump. Check the instructions again, check the instructions, switched off Bluetooth, switched it back on again, turned the phone off, turned it back on again. Still didn't work. So I go onto the app store and I have a look at the details of the iGauge app, which is what, uh, which is what you're using, sorry, which is what I'm using. And I have a look at the uh, details. And I don't know if you can see there, it says supported models, iPhone 4S, 5, 5S. Well, I don't have an iPhone 4, 4S, 5S. I have an iPhone 10. And this app stops at the 5S. There's been no update by the developer for this app. So, I have been sold a pump, which is a 
very finely made, beautifully made in fact, pump and I've pumped up this tyre and I've pumped it up hard and it's a very nice and enjoyable pumping action. But the Bluetooth element, which is what is supposed to tell you the pressure that you're pumping to, does not work. And that means I've paid a lot of money for a piece of equipment that is not fit for purpose. So I'll be getting on to Sigma Sports, which is where I purchased this from, and I'll have a word with them about this particular problem, and I'll feed back to you in a later video. In the meantime, what can I say about the Silka Tatico Bluetooth pump? Well, the Silka bit is okay, the Tatico bit is okay, the pump bit is okay, the Bluetooth bit is a pile of shit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.